Okay, so with the mouth, we've defined the mouth. We've made that a lot darker. And we've got the teeth. I'm going to grab a thinner pencil. The teeth are in there. And we're going to keep those white. We're going to keep this area here a lot darker as well. And what we want to do is have um, this area here. I might have to swap pencils here because I can see that that one's a bit dark. Okay, so here we're going to start with this line here. We're going to bring this line all the way up to there. So we've got a happy cub. And then we are going to shade this in. So nicely shading that in. And there we go. That's all done. Um, that one's going to be a bit darker over there and we also have the mouth itself so I've got to go back into a thicker softer gradient pen here or pencil and the same thing here there we go there and back to here okay so we're like that So as you can see, I did the darker nostrils first and then I've gone over it in um, a lighter shade over the whole lot. So it just blends in. It's not to stand out too much. And um, then just blending that through to the nasal part here that goes up. I've got to remove all that thickness there because I need for that. Uh, just really delicately and then we have here um, let me grab a different color okay so we're up to the eyes so now again um, it's a little thick so I'll try this one okay so what we want is to get those lines to be a little bit more prominent and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more because I feel that um, Simba, Simba's eyes are important and I can see that if they were a little bit bigger they would probably sit a little bit better. Okay so we're going to go like that, we're going to shade it in to about there. Like that. That's nice and delicate there and then we're going to also widen up this so it's about there. We're going to carry that line all the way over to there and then this one all the way to there and then obviously the pupil ends up a little bit wider which is what we wanted to achieve in the first place and then just shading that eye in like that and also really lightly shading that part there now normally it depends on what direction I'm shading everything in so at the moment i'm just kind of going both ways with that um, and then that part there has got a little bit more to it and i've got to remove this part here even though i want to be able to shade all of this in so what i'm going to do i'm going to go on an angle from here now like that and i'm not going to color the whole lot in so as you can see i'm just kind of creating that shadowy effect to give the texture, but I'm not overdoing it. Um, okay, and then here under the eye, uh, up to this mouth area that needs to come up uh, quite a bit higher, like that, um, I'm going to now connect this area to that, like that. And what I need to be able to do is to kind of shade it. So if I kind of start here and I work my way out like that, that would work. 
and the same thing on this side here um, the shading is actually working in a downward direction so I'm just gonna go down really lightly Okay, if I blend that like that, you'll actually get a nice feel. Okay, so that's another technique that you can use. And the same thing there, we can smudge that through and get uh, a little bit more color. The same thing here, like really, really lightly uh, shading that nasal area, not all the way through, but um, kind of just working on blending and adding in the lines as you can see in the drawing here. It's very, very fine. Um, it's not too much at all. So I've just blended that a little bit through. And then over here, over here, that's a little bit sharp. So as you can see, this pencil is a little bit difficult to work with. Um, not doing the best. Uh, job for me. So if I go back to the H pencil, if I can find that one, uh, which one is it? I've got to have a look here. Four, no, no. Okay, there it is there. Okay, so if I use this one here, um, I'm going to have the darker tone, but also Okay, so from here, again, we've got all this shading going on here, all the way around. And then I've got a darker area in here. Shaded. Okay, and then I'm going to bring the shading out like that really lightly. You don't need to fill the whole lot out. Um, give it a little bit of a blend and that'll fill. And the same here, we have a little bit more shading right over here like that. Um, now, if you've got the time, take your time with it. You don't need to rush it. Um, and you'll end up with even more incredible blending. Um, but at the moment, that's enough to give that effect. Okay, so then over here, a little bit there, not too much, and there's a little bit here, again, not too much, um, like that. Again, over the eye, we've got a little bit of blending there, we've got quite a bit here, okay, like that. And then there are the white areas as well, um, and as you can see, I've achieved uh, what I wanted to achieve, which is to filling it out with a pencil, but not overdoing it. Um, and again, getting those lines that need to be visible, uh, actually visible, um, because otherwise we will find that part of the drawing will disappear. So we don't want that to happen. Um, and then again here, like that, uh, like that all the way around carefully just getting that shape to uh, be a little bit more apparent and again a bit more shading there um, and before you know it we've uh, we've got we've got our cub Simba is drawn I'm just going to clean up those areas that are not in the drawing so that they remain um, the scene that you can imagine so we've got all of that uh, and we've got that as well okay so as you can see Simba's pretty much almost there we need the other eye here which hasn't been um, completed yet so we are going to do that and we're going to keep that one in there like that same thing here um, like that and I still feel that this nasal area could do with a bit more depth of colour. Um, and even here, just a little bit more depth. And here, I want to be able to bring that in and around. So it actually allows him 
to have more softness um, over that eye area. Okay, so I think he's looking good. And we've got to also add in um, his uh, whiskers. So if we look here, the whiskers are all from here. So let's just make sure that this line would look like it's coming like that, like that. Actually, that's not right, is it? I'll just fix that one up again. Okay, so where were we? So we had that. We've got this line here that comes up to there and it's got to intersect the way we had it. It was already right. Okay, so let's just fill it out again. Fill that out and we're all good. Okay, so now um, just moving on. We've got Simba. I'm just going to fill out this area here and also this area. Here. Uh, we've got a bit more shading in there and again here on the pores. Uh, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but as long as we can see the drawing and it's working for us then we're on track. Okay so as you can see now we pretty much have got um, the main areas of the drawing there. If we want to add a little bit more depth uh, we can do it through uh, using one of the pencils just to add in a bit more depth that one's not really doing it so I'm going to swap I'm going to just allow a bit more here just to give it body so that we are kind of blended and blending through and again there Okay, so now what I need to finish this drawing off is the lightest, um, if I can find one of the lighter tones. That's not light enough. Okay, so let me have a look at my drawing. So I need to go back to a H so I can find that. Okay, there it is there. Okay, so what we want to do now is just finish off um, the line and end up with the shading so it's not easy when you've got a larger area so what I'm going to have to do is very 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 lightly this is a bit sharp not no it's too sharp I can't seem to blend with that okay so let's go back to this one Now, on the lion, we did say that we needed to have this bridge on the nose apparent. And once we've got that, then we've actually got the shading here that will kind of come down to there. And we've got that blending there. And we also have quite a bit of blending here, shading and blending so all that and then over here we've got the eye which is going to need a little bit of shading there as well so let me just put that all back in like that and blend that a little bit through and then on the nose okay so we're going to bring that all the way back down to about here so let's just get that really lightly over the, that area. Shade, shade, shade. Okay, now you don't need to smudge it. It just smoothens it out, it saves a bit of time. Um, it's definitely something that's not going to hurt the drawing and allow you to finish it a lot quicker. Okay, so again, smoothening that line out and a little bit more here. So just a little bit there, a little bit here, um, a little bit more here, and up there a little bit, like that, a little bit there, like that, and a little bit there, and there as well. Give that a nice smudge over. Um, and then over here, Like 
Okay.